What's up, people? It's your boy Josh. I'm a music producer, and today I'm going to be reacting to Juno's new song, Come Through, featuring Midwest, with the video done by Overcast. Ooh. Before even listening, I kind of expect this to be R&B-ish in nature. I know a lot of Juno stuff is R&B-ish, but I'm curious how they're going to mix it in with, like, hyper pop and is it gonna be more aggressive with midwest on there you know if i had to guess though it's gonna be rooted in some sort of r&b kind of vibes let's get right into it first off i want to just say whoever came up with this umbrella logo was a genius it's so simple but it's just fire every time i see it like i just get super happy inside it's just like excited to watch the video you know mm. oh I love that title scene. I'm a big fan of title scenes in music videos. Like anything you can do that's like clever, like if you put like the little title on your nail, you know, or if you go up to a plant and like your shoe brushed it and like when you brush it, it changes, like shows the title. You know, any like creative sort of title, like I'm a big fan of and I love how they just did it on the piece of paper right there. Like thought that was super sick. I also love how it's starting out musically because I knew it was gonna be some like R&B kind of progression. Here we go, it's an R&B progression and he's doing some little, almost like background kind of vocals. All right, he's just kind of doing some ad libby type vocals on top, just setting the scene for the rest of the song. And so let's see where it ends up going. The set design on this is wild. Oh, this set designer needs to hit me up instead of these plain ass fucking walls. Like, you know, I'm trying to get some inspiration out here. This is dope. They got this nice little intro, kind of setting the scene. Then they drop it with that bass, which is kind of like an 808, almost with maybe like an erosion kind of plug-in on there. Just kind of distorting it, giving it some top end. I know that this would show up on phone speakers as well, which is something to keep in mind. Also just love the way his vocal is kind of mixed. You know, these synths kind of coming in, kind of like plucky, glitchy type synths. Just think it's really fresh sounding. I'm really excited to see where it goes in the hook though. Like, is it gonna drop hard? Is it gonna go to four on the floor? Yeah, what's gonna happen? Let's, you know, let's check it out. Or we could get to the part when you're in my room when dressing. Baby, just tell me what you wanna do. Cause like back to the pain, you stop playing mad at your friend and you come through. What? Whoever produced this is crazy, crazy. Yo, this producer is wild. If you're a producer, you know how crazy that is and you know how hard you know that is. If you're not a producer, trust me when I tell you, there is a lot of skill that goes into a beat like this. There's the syncopation of the drums, the bass, you know, and the guitar kind of synths all working together. It's either like chopped up or they use the plugin like glitch or something to like get that kind of effect. Maybe even like, you know, use the frequency shifter or something on these parts, but the way they're all working together and just mixed in, it doesn't sound too much. It's like hectic, but just the right amount of chaos. And uh, I just think it's really, really fire. And like, it just makes you want to smile, just like bob my head. I'm really hyped to see how Midwest comes in on his second verse though. Like, is he gonna be singing? Is he gonna kind of rap? Is he gonna do both, you know? I don't know, I'm just hyped to see how it goes. Oh, that transition was spicy. <laughs> It's also crazy. I know that there's probably some side chain going on with this as well, because each time that if you notice that kick hits, all the synths and everything kind of duck. So I would bet on this they either side chained it with a plug-in like LFO tool or shaper box or something, or just manually did volume or gain automation every time the kick hits. Me. My boy looking fresh. Look at his ass in that little hat. Looking like a little Pokemon ass dude. Just chilling by the bicycles. Even though it's funny, you know that dude's not riding a fucking bicycle. You know, I'd be curious if this dude even knows how to ride a bike. You know. Also, is that a G-Shock that he's wearing? If it is, like shit. I didn't personally wear, it, but a lot of my friends were wearing G-Shocks back in the day. You know, in middle school, high school kind of thing. So yeah, yeah. Do your thing, man, Wes. You know, let's get it. <laughs> 
it's just getting tempted. You saw where I was at, and now you're seeking redemption. Cause all of a sudden, you. Oh, that was sick. How he was like in front of the camera and then kind of popped out of there. I know they probably did like some masking kind of stuff right there. And I wonder if they intended to do that or if they kind of just like got the footage together and post and like kind of masked it out. Oh, with me up in my mansions. All this shit don't matter, no, it don't even make sense. You call me deep, you let me let it sit away. I think it's also cool how in this verse when he came in the main instrument was a synth like if you listen back the synth not a guitar but the song started out with a guitar so that's kind of a cool little variation Woo! This is a sick shot. Like, I could just feel, I feel like they had so much fun shooting this. Like, they're just on the roof with their boys. Like, just like, baby, you go through. Oh, I wish I was there. Like, maybe one day, you know. If uh, Overcast, if you're watching this and uh, trying to get me on set, one of your shoots, you know, if you need a DP or some extra videography help, you know what I'm saying? I got you. I also love how the vocals are stacked. I'm so curious how many stacks there are because we got some maybe some highs, some lows, maybe some harmonies going on. And they're all super tight in terms of like the timing and the pitch. Hats off to them or you know, whoever did the vocal production on these tracks. Who did yo thing on that? That's for show. Oh, that's kind of cool how like the faces are being tracked. Oh my gosh, this outro with the instrumental. I'm a producer, so I'm such a sucker for that kind of stuff. Just hearing the instruments, you know, this dude's got like a slap bass in there, like a live bass, like guitar synths, like this is crazy. Kind of is like future bassy in a way with like the chords, like almost like some super saw kind of stuff going on as well. Oh! That little like teleportation thing is like some back to the future type stuff. I, I love that. That is so cool. Mm. It's a sick effect as well. Kind of like the keeping in there. As a listener, I'm super happy with that. Kind of similar to what I was expecting. Maybe a little bit more kind of on the like R&B future bass kind of side than I was expecting, but I think it was dope. I think the hook maybe could have been a little bit stronger, but I think the overall vibe was sick. Enough of my opinions. I want to hear what y'all have to say about the song. Make sure to let me know in the comments if you're rocking with it and make sure to let me know if you have any other ideas of things that I should react to or other type of videos that you like to see me make. If you haven't already, subscribe to the channel. It'd really help your boy out. I'm trying to get to 100k subscribers by the end of the year. I'm currently at 1,000. I know, I know, I'm killing it, right? But regardless of anything, y'all keep vibing, having an amazing week, and I'll see y'all next time.